My sore throat is not worse than yesterday, which is good, but it's also not much better than yesterday. So I think I should take it easy for now. I came to buy another new phone to replace my new phone to switch back to Samsung and today's Black Friday. So there's a lot of cars lined up to go to the mall, not good. Hey. So I just bought this new phone, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. I'm going to return the Pixel 8 Pro because it turns out I'm just used to Samsung and I like it better. So let's see how it is. Let's unbox it. Whoa, that is very flush. Oh, it's a cardboard. Okay, let's peel this off. Nice. Compared to the Google Pixel 8, it's slightly bigger, just a tad bit, slightly taller. Let's turn it on. Oh, it's not turning on. Oh, there we go. Had me worried for a second. Compared to the S9, it's just slightly taller and a tiny bit wider. So it's actually my accountability partner, Niels, who suggested I change phones. I didn't even realize that I could return a phone that I order online, but I looked it online and yes, I can get a refund from Google. So I'm gonna ship back the Google Pixel 8 and transfer everything to the Galaxy first. So I already packed the Pixel 8 Pro back in the case and switched everything over to the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. There is one downside to this Galaxy S23. As you can see, it's really angular at the edges. So when you're typing like this, it kind of gets in the way of your palms. Like it's a little uncomfortable. The old Galaxy S9 Plus had this rounded edges, so it wasn't a problem. And the Pixel 8 Pro also has these round edges, so it's not as uncomfortable, but yeah, it's a bit uncomfortable typing when you have these kind of sharp edges. That aside, the transfer was a mixed bag. Like it was able to transfer from my old Galaxy phone, the layout of the homepage and all my photos and videos, everything backed up. But then not all the apps were copied. So I had to manually go and download all the apps that were missing. On the Pixel 8 Pro, it was actually really easy because all the apps got transferred immediately and I didn't have to manually download any other apps. So kind of a mixed bag for this Samsung Galaxy. It's funny that this has an S Pen because I don't think I'm gonna use this at all. Like it's just kind of a waste of a function because I'm not gonna use it. Oh yeah, and the face unlock and the fingerprint unlock is so much better on the Samsung. The fingerprint unlock actually works unlike the Pixel 8 Pro, which was, I had to un like uh, disable it because it wasn't working properly. Even the face unlock, if you can see, oh, didn't match that time, but it matched that time. Even in pretty low light, it does quite well, much better than the Pixel 8 Pro. I have yet to try backing up all my music, so I'll have to get, get to that again. But yeah, overall, the only thing I'm unhappy about, other than the not so good transfer, is the sharp edges at the end here, which, is not that great, but all the features I prefer over the Pixel 8 Pro. So I definitely like this Galaxy phone better, probably because I'm used to the old Samsung phone as well. So yeah, transferring my phone pretty much took over the whole day. As you can see, it's 8.30 right now. I'm coughing a lot more than yesterday. So I think the cold or COVID, I have no idea, is moving down from my throat to my lungs. So I'm gonna try and sleep as early as possible. Here's my step counter for the day. Oh, by the way, I didn't really want to go for a long walk today. I kind of had to force myself to walk for a long time, over an hour. It was kind of like a feeling of drudgery. I think I might have to listen to something like an audiobook or something like that when it when I feel that feeling again of drudgery. But it's uncomfortable to put ear earbuds in when you have, you know, hats and hoods that kind of cover your ears. So I'll have to use my shoulder speakers or something like that. Anyways, I'll figure it out. 1% better every day, baby.